Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we're going to showcase a beam central vacuum. Now, maybe not a great sign when we see the word fragile on the box, but let's see what a lower priced central vacuum has to offer. Now, I am big into quality and generally showing the best of the best. So it's kind of unusual on the channel when I decide to show something that is not supposed to be the best of the best. I don't think it's necessarily the worst either. Beam is more of an entry level product or a builder's grade product. So let's see what's in the box, what it comes with, what it sounds like, and uh, how it is. Now, unfortunately, my box got a little bit beat up in shipping. Anyways, that's, that's between me and the freight company. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, first thing they give you is a very large muffler. And, you know, this muffler is significantly bigger than some of the other brands. That is one thing that Beam does well, is the mufflers are nice. We have cardboard for packing material. The unit itself is just sitting there. Ooh. Let's pull it out. Now, this particular unit I've chosen is, uh, well, it's not the usual beam, and that's why I chose it. Well, it's much smaller than I was anticipating. This is a 11 and a half inch can. Not that that makes a difference. Let's go ahead and see what's under the tape. So we have the lid nicely wrapped so it doesn't get scratched. That's powder coated gasket is right here. Now, we have the usual way beams are. You notice this one looks like it's upside down. It is not. It's a top-loading beam, which increases airflow and makes the bag change a hell of a lot easier. And yeah, this is a bagged beam. So let's see what's in the bag real quick, and then we'll get to what this is. So, well, you do get... All right, you do get a elbow and what's nice again is the elbow has a screw all this stuff gets secured very well we have a power cord looks like our standard uh, NEMA style plug I really like that this comes off now the bracket is pretty basic and only goes on one stud so that is kind of a con with beam we have a hose clamp, and then, oh, well, that's kind of a bonus. So they give you some rubber grommets, and presumably what you do is you put those between the wall, that way it doesn't vibrate the wall. That's actually nice, especially for sound insulation. There are the rest of the grommets. They give you two plus a wall spacer. So there is the manual. They give you kind of a quick tutorial, what to do, how to do it, how to mount the muffler. And this is the same uh, paperwork that comes when you get one of those mufflers by themselves. Curious if it states the warranty. All right, so they show some installation, installation tips. Show uh, emptying a bagless beam. Lifetime limited warranty, and that states that it's a three-year warranty backed by a 10-year motor warranty. Uh, so, yeah, that is the manual. Now let's get to the bag change and why you'd want this and what this is. So there's no latches on the lid. When you want to get to the bag to empty it, you just pull the lid off. And in here we have a decent size HEPA bag. Not nearly as big as some of the others. And mine came installed, looks like it's upside down. We're gonna explore what's in here and how it's in here. Okay, <laughs> yes, so my bag came installed upside down uh, from the factory. It has this filter in here, and this is the dump filter, the same part as their dump units. Uh, so if you don't use the bag, you'll have to change that filter. 
presumably with the bag, you probably never need to maintenance that. Or at least you can probably go a long time. Now I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, nope, it is glued in place. It, we are not to remove that, it looks like. All right, so let's go through a uh, bag change. And there's some sticky stuff you can put on it so the dust doesn't come out of the bag. So the bag, as you can see, it's uh, a two lug design. Go ahead and just put the bag in its place. And you just, yep. Oh, that is really simple. Yeah, that's easy to change. And what's cool about this is there's only two entrances and you have a utility valve right here on here. So you can hang this in your garage and use it to clean your car out. Go ahead and put the lid on there. So that's easy to maintain. Now the cool thing about Beam is, yeah, you can just go buy the bags and they come in a nice retail packaging. All right, folks. Well, I have everything wired up and done up just as a temporary setup to test it. I have put the muffler on and as you can see, the muffler is just huge. I really appreciate that. We're gonna see how this thing sounds. I'm just curious what it sounds like. So we're gonna do a sound test here. Um, we have kind of a high noise floor where I'm at, so just be patient with us with that. And as usual, you're about a meter away from the unit. Let's see how much working vacuum the beam has. This is the closest outlet. Well, those numbers aren't too bad considering the size of the unit. Uh, 75 inches of working vacuum is excellent and a hundred inches sealed. It's up a little bit below normal for a lot of central vacuums, but again, that's not a problem. I want to keep in mind that this unit is not rated for like 10,000 square feet or any of the higher numbers that you usually see me test units at. This unit's rated for a smaller size house. With those sorts of numbers here at this altitude a mile above sea level, uh, we would probably max this out at about three to 4,000 square feet. Let's talk about the size of this thing. All memes aside, the fact that this is smaller than something like an MD, would probably appeal to somebody who doesn't have a lot of room in their garage. However, the flip side is the capacity is less. Now it is meant for a smaller size house, so I guess that kind of matches up, but it's something to be aware of. This is, oh, there's the dog. This is one of the smallest central vacuums I've ever seen. The one on the right, again, I'm just using an MD for an example, is far more common. This is the normal size of a central vacuum. So I think the compact nature might have something. As you can see, it's kind of smaller than my dog even. And uh, I guess the other thing is the MD was like the original top load uh, unit. So comparing these two next to each other seems kind of natural. Would I recommend the Beam? Considering that Beam has changed hands recently, they're using a new factory to produce this than previous. I don't have sufficient data to really say either way. I will say I have not had the best experiences with beams in the past. However, the price point of this unit, you're getting what you pay for. So I don't think you're being overcharged for this. And I think if you got this and you had this 10 years and had to change it 10 years down the line, you wouldn't be disappointed with this. However, the fact that this comes with a vacuum bag in it out of the box and it's so compact and relatively powerful for its size, I think those are all plus. So this is not a review. But those are just things I want you to think about if you are considering one of these. I'm going to put a link below to your local Beam dealer. I highly recommend that you try to buy this locally. They'll come, they'll install it. And having a professional put this up on the wall and make sure this is installed properly will make all the difference. I guess I should say I have no financial association to Beam or New Era who makes this. They don't know that I'm doing this video. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you really like what we do, go check out our Patreon. I have exclusive content up there for those guys. Uh, and we also have a Discord server as well in the description. Have yourself a fantastic day.